Easter's a time to be cheerful. Our Lord Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Of course the church is going to celebrate, even when it's difficult, even when there's distress and discomfort, even when there's doubt, even when there's fear. We celebrate that Jesus is alive once on that day forever for us to celebrate. So let's look at the story and think of three reasons we can be cheerful about Easter. Looking at John chapter 20, we're told that John and Peter are in a breathless race, as it were, to get to the tomb to see for themselves. John gets there and stops just outside the tomb. But Peter, arriving perhaps just behind him, goes straight in. He's first to see and first to believe among the disciples that it's real. He looks and sees no body. The cloth's folded up and remembers what he's been told. Good for him. But outside, taking a moment, not quite daring to believe, John waits and takes a breath. And when he goes in, finally, he believes. God waits for those. He is patient for those who aren't quite ready to believe. And then in the garden, there's Mary. Mary, who with tears in her eyes for the disappearance of our Lord's body, fearing that it's been stolen to be hidden away, meets Jesus. And because of her tears and her confusion, her clear remembrance of Jesus dying on the cross, she can't believe it's him until he speaks and speaks to her in such a way that means it could only be her Lord Jesus. There's a second reason to be cheerful. God waits until clarity is achieved and everything clicks into place. The God who has blessed us, the God who has looked after us, looked out for us, drawn us towards himself, waits. That's one and two. Three, well, the third reason to be cheerful about Easter belonged really to Faithly. A little while before Easter, I had a phone call from uh, Scott in the Clydebank Cooperative Funeral Care asking, I could pass on some Easter eggs. How many children do you have? So I counted up and thought, well, the most, most, the maximum I could absolutely ever think of getting just now would be 18 if they all came today. Well, I didn't get 18 kids, but I got I get more than 18 eggs. I got more than I needed. And the children in our church, from the littlest one, who knew there'd be a hunt, got to hunt for eggs and find them. And because Scott had ensured that not 18 eggs got sent up the road, but 90 cream eggs were received, that meant the children had the fun of giving them away. They had them, they passed them on, and there was still enough for them to have another egg each. Easter is about generosity, about not a forgiveness of Jesus, he never sinned, but a forgiveness of us and a love that seeks us and means that when we believe, when all of us believe, there is forgiveness for all. One, two, three reasons to be cheerful this Easter. Many blessings.